Hello ITBC, this is Smoking Cardboard, and I'm coming from my bedroom. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to make a video about how to make those labels for your mason jars. Uh, some people saw my last video, had some questions uh, about how to make those, so I thought I would kind of show you how I made that. So, we'll see how this all goes, and if I can figure out how to record my PC and all that. Um, I might skip some of the process, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get it all in here. And it's pretty simple, so let's get to it. All right, first off for supplies, you're going to need these shipping labels. You can just get them, uh, 10 sheets of this 8.5 by 11 at like a Walmart, Target type thing. It's about five dollars, so not too expensive. So let's get let's get to uh, making the files to print. All right. So sellerlabels.com is a free, helpful site <clears throat> that I use to help me get going with um, making these labels. For starters. Um, there's a place where you can download the template here uh, that they've created. They have one for uh, Apple or they have one for Microsoft Word. Um, both of these are going to be a template that is sized for the wide mouth jars. Um, they will fit those well and I highly suggest using the wide mouth jars because it's easier to get stuff in and out of them. Um, I wouldn't put labels on every single long uh, term storage uh, jar and those could be the normal mouth ones if you're just going to set it aside in the in a box or in storage or something. Uh, but for the ones that you want to leave out and be pretty, I suggest the large mouth. Uh, jars. <clears throat> so uh, you can download those. For some reason, I think uh, Flash pl Player got retired in 2020. It's 2021 or something. So I don't on Chrome here. It's not working. Oh, it is now. I don't know. Either way, I already have it downloaded. Uh, I'm using Windows. So here we go. They give kind of uh, instructions here. Uh, uh, so we're just right clicking on here and then clicking fill and then we fill it with a picture and then picture from the file and then here's a bunch of pictures that I already uh, have made or downloaded. Uh, so you can just insert a picture like this one and poof it's in there. Um, so how do we get these pictures? So you could do that for six on the page uh, or whatever. At this point you can then print these all out and then on that paper the shipping labels that I showed you and then cut those out and then slap them on your jars. Uh, I would recommend when you're printing to do it in the best quality just so the pictures come across real great and um, uh, just the yeah, the highest quality uh, settings. All right, so for the pictures, um, the seller labels has some stuff where you can go in here. Um, they have some instructions uh, here to make your labels all look like this, and you can customize that, and they have a nice video to show you how to do that. I don't do that. I prefer them to be a little bit more like that so you can sign up you have to sign up once you've signed up then you can come in here there's a bunch of community labels that you can search through uh, and find there's a bunch here that they're showing but you can pretty much search for any of these labels um, like I want uh, H H Burley label here 
and search that and there's two uh, community made ones I can click on it um, see if that's the one I want and then I can just save the image to wherever I want and then plop it in uh, the Word document like I showed before and where I can compare it to the other one uh, it's a little bit different so I can save this one choose whichever one I want and in some examples we're just not going to have uh, a uh, label for the kind of tobacco that you're interested in oh man they have the straight grain but they don't have uh, the cross grain so I'm gonna have to make my own to do that um, or um, let's try the 18 Germain's 1820 flake So they have one for J.F. Germain's 1820 flake, but it's just a square one, and it looks kind of blurry. Uh, maybe I can do better than that. So uh, how do you make your own pictures? We can go through that here. Uh, usually I just use Google to search images, and you can find stuff. Um, you can find some of these different uh, images, and... Like this one, I, I clicked here, and then uh, we can click some of, you wanna find one that's as big as possible. And I don't wanna just uh, use this image because when I slap it on one of those circles, it's gonna uh, put the very top of the circle to the top of the image and the side to the very side of the image and so on and so forth. I want uh, just the picture. I don't need this side stuff showing up on my thing. So I'm just gonna copy the image and then I'll come over here to um, paint and I'll show you, uh, paste it in there. And then I can um, kind of crop it the way I want it. Um, so generally speaking, uh, you're just making a box and the corners of the box are gonna be a kind of uh, cut off because it'll just be a circle, but I can take that uh, Copy that control C is what I used uh, Open a new one and Then I'm kind of cropping it. So now when I slap this on uh, One of these in here Because I already saved that one Uh, it kind of looked like that. So depending on how, what I kind of want on the picture, uh, so even this one is showing a little bit less on the top or the bottom, I can kind of adjust or play with that. So other ones, like I had uh, Gawith and Hogarth, um, uh, brown flake and there wasn't anything on the other site so I could uh, like take this picture and do some little magic on it whoops I thought I copied it whoops all right Let's do a new one. So here, uh, some of the other stuff that I do to kind of make this my own is I might uh, just use this clicker here. Whoops. And grab some of the just open space like this uh, next to the image, copy it, control C, control V, and then I could just like cover it up. It's not gonna be like perfect, but, um, and then I can just, you won't be able to tell on the jar very well. And then you can use like a uh, text here uh, to just insert uh, my own wording above it or something like this. So we'll do like uh, 32. Um, so 
So we just gotta make the text box area. I can make this bold and then I can drag this uh, around so that's there. And then I could add like another text um, that it says um, unscented because uh, that's what it is. So it's just stuff like this that allows you to kind of mess around, customize um, the stuff that are there to make your own uh, uh, pictures for your designs. Um, so some of these I did that to uh, like the Stratfordshire one. Um, if we open this one up, I kind of took the bottom off instead of having the can show. I copied some of this color in the middle and just pasted it down. Um, <clears throat> some different stuff like that. Same with like uh, the Stratfordshire, I think, or this Director's Cup stuff. Um, some of these pictures and other ones like <clears throat> like this, um, once you paste it in there, you're not going to get any of these corners that are going to come off. So, so once you're happy with your pictures, you can um, just insert all the ones that you want to do. So now here, at this point, I can just uh, file, save that document, and create more, you know, a new document for each uh, group of six that I want. Um, and then I can just uh, uh, print those off. And here we go. We have them printed. Just like I thought. So let's just cut these with some scissors out and I'll show you that. All right, so I'm in the kitchen now, so if you hear a bunch of other noises, it's bread machine and stuff. Cut it out. Out of here, that kind of tough job to do sometimes. Make it look good. If you have a one with a red border or white border, so you can't tell where to cut it. Uh, it's important to just put a black border around the design. These you're going to just then put, take the sticky backs off, and then uh, just throw it on these. I save the lids for uh, after I'm done with the jar. Uh, since you can just buy these replacement things uh, so I could reuse the jar for something else but then I could keep that lid for the next time I have that blend kind of up in my rotation um, so that's kind of the process of putting these uh, together and I uh, hope that was helpful it's a lot of different ways to do this um, like making new designs and scanning maybe tins, tin art in and doing some stuff and then uploading the designs you've made to the seller uh, that I'm not really showing in that um, in this video and these maybe you could try putting on a smaller jar and just it going up underneath the lip here I don't think it'll look very good it will be a little messy but it could be doable so anyway Hope that was helpful for you guys out there that wanted to know and kind of answered some of the questions you maybe had uh, for doing the jars. Uh, these are just kind of all the ones that I've made that I just don't have those blends in jars. The wide mouth, they're really hard to find the wide mouth jars right now, but I am sure that that's just a temporary problem. So uh, at some point you'll be able to find all these. So. Hope that helps, and uh, just so you guys can kind of see what I was 
showing in my other video that asks all the questions. Uh, these were some of the blends where I just put them here. So certainly you could stick them on the sides of the jars instead of the tops, but these are all just designed to be on the tops of them. So, uh, so some of these I've made myself and then other ones I just grabbed from the website. Well, I hope that have answered the question, so I'm saying again. Uh, just let me know if you have any problems. I can try to help out, but hopefully this uh, was enough help, and everybody have a great week. We'll talk to you later.